publicized in the media and online and through diverse networks. The Human Rights Logo Initiative is an attempt to promote and strengthen human rights across the globe through the creation of a logo, a symbol that embodies the principles and spirit of human rights. Open to entries from anywhere in the world, the competition received over 5,000 submissions from 180 countries in the first six weeks since it was announced. A workshop in Colombo presented an opportunity for Sri Lankans to contribute towards this global initiative. During three days of active discussion and with input from Sri Lankan artists, these students began working on their own ideas in the creation of a human rights logo. Yeah, uh, each of us in the group had different uh, angles on this. Now, I, for one, took uh, the word freedom and I was playing around with that. So some people took individuality and so on and so forth, different, different elements from that. We are going to talk about the human rights and human rights. We are going to talk about the human rights and human rights. We are going to talk about the human rights. Final design is not available. We are going to talk about the human rights and human rights. Everybody was inspired by different things. Some people took freedom and then some people took the right to speak and all of that. 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 The academic knowledge is that in Shastra, Danumak, the right to speak and all of that. The right to speak and all of that. The right to speak. The design workshop was facilitated by design academics and artists, including Situmini Ratnapala and Chandragupta Tenura. It was held at the Goethe Institute and was supported by the German Embassy in Colombo. The idea of the small workshop we uh, organized together with academia in uh, Sri Lanka and young students was to, uh, to show uh, how challenging it is to find such a symbol, but also that there is lots of creativity here in Sri Lanka because in Sri Lanka too, in the last three decades, human rights have so often been violated in this awful conflict and I think it would be more than appropriate if this worldwide symbol for human rights would come from Sri Lanka. Workshop participants displayed their creations at an event on the final day. The next step is to submit them to the competition and await the outcome. With thousands of entries to choose from, the task of selecting winners will no doubt be difficult. But the future may well see a symbol for human rights that is as easily recognized and universally understood as love equals heart and peace equals dove.